this class we work out uh, five problems when the resistances are connected in series and parallel how to find the equivalent resistance and how to find the total current in the circuit so in this problem eight resistances are connected as shown in figure we have to find what is the total resistance across a and b and what is the total current first step is we have to find which resistances are connected in series and which are in parallel here the resistance 2 and 4 is in series similarly 3 and 3 is in series that's why i put yes and yes so 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 and similarly 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 again this 6 ohm and this 6 ohm is in parallel therefore r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 that is equal to 3 ohm again i need the diagram this is 3 ohm here the 3 ohm 5 ohm is connected in series and this 6 ohm this 6 ohm is in connected in parallel again i read the diagram like this so these 6 and 6 in parallel therefore 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 that is equal to 3 ohms that 3 ohm resistor is in series with the 10 ohm resistance therefore this total resistance is 13 here 5 and 3 is in series that is equal to 8 here 8 ohm resistor and 13 ohm resistance are connected in parallel therefore r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 13 into 8 divided by 13 plus 8 that is equal to 4.95 ohms the volt and the resistance across the point a and b is equal to 4.95 i can find the current i is equal to v by r v is given 50 therefore 50 divided by 4.95 is equal to 10.10 amps in the second problem 14 resistance are connected as shown in figure all the resistors are in ohms voltage across the point a and b is equal to 25 our aim is to find what is the current flow in the 15 ohm resistor the step one is we have to identify which resistors are connected in series and which are all connected in parallel here these three resistances are connected in series similarly these three resistances are connected in series and here these three resistances are connected in series here the four resistances are connected in series i redraw the diagram like this here 1 plus 6 plus 5 that is equal to 12 similarly 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is equal to 9 the 7 ohm resistor is connected in series with this similarly 8 plus 15 plus 14 that is equal to 37 9 plus 10 plus 11 plus 12 that is equal to 42 here these two are in parallel these two are in parallel therefore 9 12 into 9 divided by 12 plus 9 r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 that is equal to 5.14 there is effective resistance is 5.14 this is 7 here i put 7 37 into 42 divided by 37 plus 42 that is equal to 19.67 this is 19.67 therefore total resistance in the circuit is equal to 5.14 plus 7 plus 19.67 that is equal to 31.81 ohms total resistance in the network is 31.81 ohms once i know the resistance i know the voltage i can find the current i is equal to v by r v is given 25 25 divided by 31.81 that is equal to 0.79 amps current flow through the point a to b is 0.79 amps now i can find the voltage drop across each part then only i can find what is the current through the 15 ohm resistor here this is i is equal to v, i is equal to v by r v is equal to i into r 0.79 into 5.14 that is equal to 4.06 similarly 0.79 into 7 that is equal to 5.53 0.79 into 19.67 that is equal to 15.54 here the voltage across these two point these two point is 15.54 again i read the diagram this is 37 this is 42 current towards the junction is 0.79 so the current leaving the junction should be 0.79 but moreover the 37 and 42 are connected in parallel in parallel circuit the voltage is constant in series circuit current is constant once i know the voltage and the resistance i can find the current i is equal to v by r 15.54 divided by 37 that is equal to 0.42 amps here the 8 ohm 15 ohm 14 ohm are connected in series therefore current flow through the 8 ohm 15 ohm and 14 ohm are same the current flow through the 15 ohm resistance is 0.42 again 
current flow through the 9, 10, 11, 12 is 15 divided by 42 that is equal to 0.37 amps. Here the current flow through the 10 ohm, 11 ohm, 12 ohm resistance, 9 ohm resistance is 0.37. Here the current towards the junction is 0.79. Current leaving the junction is 0.42 plus 0.37 that is equal to 0.79. Kirchhoff's current lies verified. Kirchhoff's voltage lies verified. And we have we find the total resistance is 31.81. Current flow in the 15 ohm resistance is 0.42 amps. In this problem, 11 resistors are connected as shown in figure. All the resistors are in ohms. The supply voltage is 25. We have to find what is the total resistance and what is the current flow through the network. First step is we have to identify which are all the resistors are connected in series and which are all connected in parallel. Here are the 2 ohm, 2 ohm in series, 1 ohm and 2 ohm in series. Therefore, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. I redraw the diagram like this. This is 1 ohm, this is 2 ohm, this is 2, this is 2, this is 4, 4, this is 2, 3. Here the 4 and 4 in parallel, the resistor 2 and 3 in parallel. Therefore, 4 into 4 divided by 4 plus 1, that is equal to 2 ohm. And similarly, 2 into 3 divided by 2 plus 3 is equal to 1.2 ohms. Again, I redraw the diagram. This is 1, this is 2, this is 2, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1.2, this is 2. This 2 and 1.2 is in series. Therefore, 2 plus 1.2, that is equal to 3.2. That 3.2 and 2 ohm resistor in parallel. Therefore, 2 into 3.2 divided by 2 plus 3.2, that is equal to 1.23 ohms. The 1.23 ohm resistance is in series in the 1 ohm resistor. Therefore, the effective resistance is the total resistance is 2.23. These two are in series. 2.23. Again, 2.23 is parallel with the 2 ohm resistor. 2 into 2.23 divided by 2 plus 2.43. That is equal to 1.05 ohms. Here, this is 1.05. This is 1 ohm resistor. This is 1 ohm resistor. The three resistors are connected in series. Therefore, the total resistance is 1 plus 1.05 plus 1 that is equal to 3.05 ohms. Total resistance in the network is 3.05. Current is equal to I is equal to V by R. 25 divided by 3.05 that is equal to 8.20 amps. So, the problem number 4. 10 resistors are connected as shown in figure. Our aim is to find what is the total resistance across point A and B. The first step is we have to identify which resistors are connected in series and which are all connected in parallel. In this problem, the resistor 1, 2, 3 are in parallel, 4, 5 in series, 9 and 10 in parallel. If the three resistors are connected in parallel, the equivalent resistance is R1 into R2 into R3 divided by R1 into R2 plus R2 into R3 plus R3 into R1 that is equal to 6 by 11 that is equal to 0.545. I can replace this part into 0.545. Here these two are in series. 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. Again, this 9 and 10 in parallel. Therefore, 9 into 10 divided by 9 plus 10. That is equal to 4.74. I redraw the diagram like this. This is 0.545. This is 9. This is 6. This is 8. This is 7. This is 4.74. Again, the 6 and 8 is in series. I can redraw the diagram like this. Here are the 6 and 4 is in series, therefore that is 14. This is 14, this is 4.74. The 4.74 is in parallel with the 14 ohm resistance. Therefore 14 into 4.74 divided by 14 plus 4.74 that is equal to 3.54. This is 3.54. Therefore total resistance AB is equal to first is 9.545 plus 7, this is 7, plus 3.54. Add the 3. 9.545 plus 7 plus 3.54 that is equal to 20.08 ohms. So the resistance across the point A, B is equal to 20.08 ohms. In this problem, 10 resistors are connected as shown in figure. All the resistance are in ohms. The question is, we have to find what is the total resistance across the point A and B. What is the current supplied by the 10 volt battery? Source is 10 volts. First step is we have to identify which resistors are connected in parallel and which are all connected in series. Here the 4 and 1 in parallel, 2 and 5 in parallel, 3 and 6 in parallel. Therefore 4 into 1 divided by 4 plus 1 that is equal to 0.8 ohms. This is 5 into 2 plus 5 plus 2 that is equal to 1.43 ohms. 
This is 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 that is equal to 2 ohms. I will draw the diagram like this. This is point A. This is 2. This is 1.43. This is 7 ohms. Here these two are in series. 10 plus 9 that is equal to 19. The 19 ohm resistor is in parallel with the 8 ohm, 8 ohm resistor. Therefore 8 into 19 divided by 8 plus 19 that is equal to 5.63. The, the resistance is 5.63. Here this is 7. 5.63 and 7 is in series. Therefore, this is 12.63. This is 12.63. The 12.63 into is, is parallel with the 2 ohm resistor. Therefore, 2 into 12.63 divided by 14.63 that is equal to 1.73. Here the 1.73, this is the resistance 1.73. 1.73 is in series with the 1.43 ohms. Therefore, 1.73 plus 1.43 that is equal to 3.16. This is 1.43. This is 1.73. This is 3.16. The 3.16 resistor is in parallel with the 0.8 ohm. Therefore, 0.8 into 3.16 divided by 0.8 plus 3.16 that is equal to 0.64 ohms. So, the total resistance across point A and B is equal to 0.64 ohms. Once I know the resistance, I know the voltage, therefore I can find the current I is equal to 10 by 0.64, that is equal to 15.63 amps. So current supplied by the battery is 15.63 amps, total resistance across point A, B is equal to 0.64 ohms. With this I conclude my lecture, thanks for listening.